Hello there. I'm going to do a part two of the equipment video uh, real quick. Um, you know, I was talking about um, applying tape in your, in your bowling ball. What I kind of forgot was, you know, it's a little bit easier when you have a nail file. You put the tape on one side of the nail file, stick it down into the hole, and then press around it and remove uh, makes it a little bit easier for the for, for you to get it in the correct way. Um, it's also good to have a nail file in case you know you do particularly your ladies, but sometimes the guys too. You, you chip your nail or in the corner or whatever. Um, you know you, you can you can file that right down. Um, that's actually very helpful. You know particularly with your internal your two internal fingers obviously and and, and especially the thumb. You gotta remember that in the game of bowling, the um, the thumb is your rudder. The rudder steers the boat. Okay, come out of a ball, you need to be at 12 o'clock or later. You, you you go you go back into the morning, as I like to say, 11, 10, 9 o'clock. Bad things happen. And I was talking about how on your bowling ball, you have the two you have the fingers, and you have the rotation around here, right ne right next to the finger holes. You know, on this side, when you're a right-hander, that's a good thing. The more that it goes this way, means you're coming around the ball too much. So when your rudder gets out over 12 o'clock, past 12 o'clock, then your then your oil pattern does this. So you watch the oil ring on your on your ball, and that tells you how you're releasing the ball. And if you're past 12 o'clock, you're sending the ball left. And sometimes what you'll do is you'll speed the ball up, and it, it won't it, it won't go way left but you're not getting anything on it, you're not accurate. So these are things that you can check yourself with, okay? So that's number one. Um, we didn't talk on, on, on there, and this is gonna be a, a, a pretty short one. There's two kinds of grips, typically speaking. I mean, there are three, but there's two basic ones these days. You're gonna have a conventional grip for you beginners, and you're gonna have a fingertip grip. Um, a conventional grip goes up to the second knuckle. Okay, so what you do, and the way it should fit, is you stick your thumb in the ball, lay it across, and your and your the hole should be right where that finger, right where that knuckle is. If it's further or further back, you need to get with a qualified uh, ball drilling professional at your pro shop, and go ahead and get that thing get that thing right because you can hurt your you can hurt the the, the ligaments in your wrists, you can hurt your fingers. You know, tendons, even worse, um, with a bad-fitting bowling ball, particularly if you have to death clutch it uh, or you have to have an arced, an arced hand instead of a relaxed grip, okay? So you need, to, you need to have a proper fitting bowling ball. That's very important. The second kind, and this is the one where it's a little easier to get lift and it's for the, the more, um, the, the, the slightly more advanced bowler, is a fingertip grip, and that's where it's going to go to the first knuckle, right here. And... Again, the same thing. Lay lay it over. You, you'll see that it's the correct, the correct, um, the correct span. The span is the distance between the thumb and the fingers. And what most people do is they put what's called an an insert in. So they'll you know they, you might see these blue or yellow or orange or pink things in in the bowling ball, and all that is really is a, it's a slug that goes in there. It's it's a it's a very durable plastic with some knobs in it uh, for grip. But it helps you to grip the bowling ball a little bit better, and um, because of the shape and the pitch and the way that it's put in, it enables you as you come out naturally to have more rotation on the ball. And that's why people have a a, um, a fingertip grip. Um, you're going to see your your higher level amateurs and your higher level professionals are going to have those. Um, now this doesn't get into the weight block or what kind of stock to have around the ball. Um, but I, but I think you, if you throw a pretty decent hook or whatever, you want to have one of these resin reactive balls that as, as it spins, it, it gets sticky. So you'll get a big hook and particularly in the back end, and that'll help you strike better. But then for spares, you want to have a very hard ball, like a plastic ball or, or a urethane ball that will just go arrow straight. And we'll talk about that in a future video. So, um, hope that's helpful, but that kind of, that kind of completes what we're trying to do here. On the uh, on the equipment aspect, all right. Uh, like, share, like, comment.
subscribe. And um, remember that sharing is caring. I'd really appreciate it if we can, we can help build the community here um, a little more aggressively as we go into 2021. Thank you very much. Peace out, me homies. See ya.